Well, the songwriting uh, on Holodox has changed a little bit from the previous record, Instruction for Destruction, because on this uh, recent album uh, it was me again writing the songs at home. Um, on the previous record we were like, the, the new lineup change we had back then gave us like really uh, inspiring vibes, you know, and when we we, st we started writing songs together in the, in a rehearsal room like a uh, one unity and uh, you can really hear that in, in a way you know a lot of people involved into the songwriting and uh, with, with the new album it uh, it's changed to to be actually me doing the, the main thing and then the people in the band um, um, adapting to to the instrument they play or uh, having a little arrangement and harmony thing uh, changes and also a thing I wanted to do with the uh, recent album is to write like the most difficult song I can even write yeah. uh, my biggest contribution to the album was the recording which we did at my studio it was uh, a very painful process. <laughs> we recorded hours and hours every week for months, like nine or ten months recording of the album. I don't talk about writing, I talk about recording. And we just did it over and over again, you know, take after take after take, just to get the perfect take. That was our goal on this record. My beitrag uh, to the coming album is the uh, reason that I to the Backing Vocals eingeladen wurde und äh, dort durfte ich den Bassisten, ehemaligen Bassisten von Kumania kennenlernen, den Ray. Und ähm, so ist das wirklich so passiert, wie ich es mir vorgestellt habe. Man steht alle zusammen in einem Raum und schreit zusammen in einem Mikrofon. After recording vocals and guitars and bass uh, at the Sonic Screwdriver Studio from our guitarist Valentin, we went to the New Sound Studio um, run by uh, Tommy Fetterly. Um, and there we did the drum recording and also uh, mixing was done by Tommy Fetterly himself. Das war eine neue Erfahrung in diesem Sinn für mich, weil er halt recht old school als aufnimmt und ich relativ viel Zeit aufgewendet habe, für immer die Songs quasi im Ganzen durchzuspielen, dass möglichst der Flow stimmt, was sehr anstrengend war. Ja, ich hoffe, dass es gehört man auch im Sound vom Drum her schlussendlich, dass es natürlicher tönt. Das ist eigentlich unser Ziel, möglichst einen natürlichen Schlagzeugsound herzubringen. Ja. 